Well, there we are with uh, Heat 8, Pilarczyk of Poland, Papadias of Greece, and Tepe of Cameroon, Bozic of Slovenia, Bonello of Malta, Amir of the Maldives, Horace Dove Edwin of Sierra Leone in lane 7, and Ogun Koya of Nigeria in lane 8. The first three past the post go through to the next round automatically. Palacic on the inside got away to uh, a very good start. The pole going extremely well, and so is Papadias, the Greek, who's coming through very quickly. And then Tepe of Cameroon is the third, third man. No, he's not. Ogun Koya on this side, who's limping. Now, I must admit, my attention was uh, all on Palacic. I should have been watching lane eight, which was Ogun Koya. He obviously finished very quickly indeed, 10.24, but it looks as though the Nigerian may well have a slight muscle pull or just a touch of cramp. We'll see what happens in the replay. Watch the left-hand side of the screen as well as the inside. Ogun Koya in lane eight comes through away very quickly indeed Pilarczyk of Poland there was a huge roar for Papadias in lane two the world indoor champion from Greece it was Ogun Koya in lane eight who definitely got it he begins just to limp a little bit there Papadias got second Pilarczyk got third and we'll see it better here this is the camera that moves down the outside of the track and follows the sprinters. Sean Ogunkoya of Nigeria looking very comfortable. A couple inside him, Dove Edwin, who finished second to Linford in the Commonwealth Games in 94, then was disqualified after a dope test. He's way out of it now. But Ogunkoya comes through there, clutches his leg. Papadias gets second, Pilacek gets third, and Ogunkoya's time confirmed at 10.24. Well, well, we'll bring you up to date with that result in a moment. The crowd still not uh, pouring in, as one would expect in these early stages of the uh, championships. As I said earlier on this morning, or perhaps some of you were up and about, uh, the stadium holds 75,000, only 55,000 available to the crowd, with 20,000 or so to the media in, in general. But it's a marvellous stadium, it really is. It's... Uh, named after the legendary marathon runner Spiridon Louis, who won gold at the first modern Olympics back in, 90, in 1896. It was inaugurated in uh, 1982. It's quite beautiful. Absolutely superb stadium.